Hey guys, welcome to another A-Level Maths revision video. In this video today, we're going to take a look at a pretty brief topic, which is the factor theorem. So hopefully, this video should be nice and easy, um, but some revision just help you with your exam. So, let's take a look at these questions. Um, I'll take them from old um, past papers here. So, we're using the C2 papers um, from a few years back. So, this first question here, question 6, we've got our function f of x. And we're going to use the factor theorem to show that x plus 3 is a factor of f of x. So, let's just write this down first. So, if x plus 3 is a factor, so x plus 3 is a factor of f of x, what that means is that f of minus 3, so x plus 3, that would mean f of minus 3 should be equal to zero. Okay, so that's what the factor theorem tells us. So all we need to do here is substitute minus three into f of x. Okay, just replacing x with minus three. That's all we're saying here. So all we're going to do is just substitute that in. So what I'll do is I'll write everything in full. Um, so I'll quickly just do that. Let's see what we get. So f of minus three. That'll be minus six times minus three cubed. So on and so on. So I'll just write all this out in full. Okay, so that's everything. So what we need to do here is simplify. So minus 6 times minus 3 cubed. Uh, so that'd be minus 6. Um, so that would give me 162. This will give me minus 63. 5 times minus 3, that'd be minus 120. And then add the 21 on at the end. So plug all this into your calculator. You don't need to do it by hand. Um, but all of that, when you put it into your calculator, is equal to zero, which is exactly what we wanted here. So therefore, x plus 3 is a factor of f of x. x plus 3 is a factor of f of x. Okay, so that's part A done. So that's part A. So part B then is essentially just a follow-up from part A. So even if you can't do part A, we still can have a go at part B. So to factorize f of x, well, this is a cubic polynomial. So what we should expect here is um, a product of three factors. So we know one of the factors is x plus 3. So what I can do straight away is write my x plus 3. Now, if you think about taking this f of x here, if I times x plus 3 by something, I should get that f of x. So what I need to do is find the quadratic here. That would give me f of x multiplied. Um, or when multiplied together, will give me f of x. So what that's going to look like then, well, minus 6x cubed. So because that's minus, this should be minus 6x squared here. So x times minus 6x squared gives me minus 6x cubed. So that's the first part. The last term, just a constant, is easy to find as well. We need 3 times something gives me 21, so that would be plus 7. That's the last term. And then the middle term is a little bit trickier, so this is just something that comes with a bit of practice, um, and you'll soon get that intuition for spotting the, the middle term. What I'm looking for here is my x term here. Okay, So if you think about it, 3 times minus 6x squared is minus 18x squared. So minus 18x squared. We need 7x squared. So in that case, I need to add 11x squared here. So the only other way to do that is to make this be plus 11. And the reason for that is because if I do x times 11x, I get 11x squared. So 11x squared minus 18x squared gives me the minus 7x squared that we need. Okay, so that's something that comes with time, a bit of practice, um, but you should hopefully get quite used to it once you've done a couple of these questions. Okay, so that middle term there has to be my 11x. But we're not finished yet, we need to factorise this completely. Okay, so in that case, we're looking to factorise this um, quadratic now. So to make it a little bit easier, I'm going to bring the minus out here to the front, so everything will just be opposite signs essentially. So this is going to be minus x plus 3. 
6x squared minus 11x minus 7. And now if we just factorise this quadratic, hopefully not too bad. So factorising this, what will we get? I'll get 3x minus 7 and then 2x plus 1. You can use your calculator here. That will just give you the solutions, but if you kind of put it together, you can figure out what the factor is here. Okay. And there we go. So that's f of x factorized completely. So like you see, these questions are very, very standard. You'll get one part asking you probably usually to just use the factor theorem. And then the second part, you just want to factorize completely. Okay. So there we go. So that's six marks there. Let's take a look at the next question. So this next one then, June 2014. Um, again, like you see, the method's pretty much the same. Use the factor theorem, factorize completely. So question two this time. We've got an, a bit of an easier um, cubic this time. Um, it's, a cu it's a positive cubic, and our coefficient of the x cubed is just two. So it's a little bit easier to factorize when we come to factorize in a moment. But first, let's use a factor theorem here. So we're saying that x minus two is a factor. So x minus two is a, is a factor. Well, in that case, if x minus two is a factor, what we're expecting then is f of two should be equal to zero in that case. Okay. So again, just like we did with the previous question, I'm going to substitute two into my f of x. So that's going to be two lots of two cubed minus seven lots of two squared plus four lots of two plus four. Okay. So that's a, a times two is 16. Uh, that's four, so minus seven times four, so that's minus 28. And just keep working all this out. Plus eight and then plus four. And then if I simplify all this, I'll just work it out. I'll get zero here. Okay, which is exactly what we want. We wanted that here. And that's what we've obtained here. So therefore, x minus two is a factor of f of x. Okay, so that's part A done. Hopefully not too bad. Part B, again, we're just looking to factorize this completely. We can just do part B over here. It's pretty short. So part B, we're looking to factorize f of x completely. So again, pretty standard, just like we did with the previous one. We already know one of the factors, and again, we've been a cubic. This will be the product of three factors. So one of them is my x minus 2. So my x minus 2 goes there. And then we need to find the quadratic first, and then we're going to factorize the quadratic into the two factors. So again, this needs to be x cubed, so this must be 2x squared. The last term is positive 4, so minus 2 times something gives me positive 4, so that must also be minus 2. And then again, the only thing left to find here is my middle term. And again, a bit of practice, you should see that this is minus x here. Okay, so now we've got our quadratic. All we need to do is factorize this quadratic into two factors and we're done. So x minus 2. Factorizing this I get uh, 2x plus 1 and I also get x minus 2. Okay, so that's f of x factorized completely. So like see these questions are actually pretty quick. Um, so with this being on the old exam spec. I don't think you're going to really get this many marks anymore for these kind of questions. Um, and they're usually going to be a little bit more complicated, but it's the technique that's the most important thing. So as long as you're okay with the ideas, applying the factor theorem, that's the most important part. So moving on to the last question here then. This one's a little bit different, um, but nothing, you know, too crazy. So question one. So we've got f of x. This time it involves this constancy, which we don't know but we're told f of 1 is equal to 0. Okay, so f of 1 is equal to 0. Well, to find c then, if f of 1 is equal to 0, all I need to do is substitute 1 into f of x, set it equal to 0, and then just solve for c. Okay, so we're just going to obtain a linear equation which we can solve for c. So that's going to be 2 lots of 1 cubed plus 1 squared minus 5 times 1 and then plus c. And we know all of this, as we're told, is equal to zero. 
So we'll simplify this, 2 times 1 cubed, so that's 2. 1 squared is 1, minus 5 times 1 is minus 5, and then we've got our plus c. So 2 plus 1 is 3, minus the 5 gives us minus 2, so what we know then is c minus 2 is equal to 0, and in that case c is simply 2. Okay, so that's our value for c. And then for part b, we want to factorise f of x completely. So first let's just actually write down what our um, polynomial is here. So f of x in that case is this expression. I'm just putting my c on here. Okay, this is what we're looking to get. Now we're told f of 1 is equal to 0. So what that means is that x minus 1 is a factor, okay? So x minus 1 is a factor of f of x. So if x minus 1 is a factor, again, this is a cubic, this will be the product of three factors. So I'll write my first one out, x minus 1. Just like we've done with the previous two, we need to find the correct quadratic and then factorize that quadratic into two factors. So I've got my x minus 1. With it being 2x cubed, just like the previous one, again, it will be 2x squared. We have the last term first, so it's plus 2. If this is minus 1, then that must be minus 2. Minus 1 times minus 2 gives us positive 2, which is what we needed here. And then again, we need here um, our x term. So in that case, that will just simply be plus 3x. Okay. So I'm just going to factorise this quadratic now. So I'm going to get x minus 1 at the front. Here now, so I'm going to get a 2x minus 1. And I'm going to get an x plus 2. Expand that, you'd get this, so we know we're correct. Okay. And that's f of x factorised completely. So there we go. So that brings us to the end of this video. A pretty brief video, um, but I hope it's helped. Any issues, any mistakes somewhere, hopefully not, because it's a pretty short one. Um, like always, just let us know down below. Cheers.